I'm going to tell you about the Greek Easter, Pascha. Greek Easter and some other national festivities that I think are very unfair. Because at the end of the day, it all depends on which side of the fence you were born or which height of the ladder. You take, for example, being a lamb in Greece. Being a lamb in Greece, you're very unlucky. Very unlucky because every year in Greece we do a genocide. Yes, a genocide. And it's completely legal. You know, for example, Hitler, he did it once and they've been talking about it for 60 years. And we Greeks, we do it every year. We kill millions of lambs. So, and this is because, uh, you know, the book, the Bible, the Harry Potter book, they say, no, no, kill, kill the lamb. Malaga, why kill the lamb? The animal is very cute. It's like this. You want to touch it. You want to, why kill the lamb? Kill the grizzly. No, no grizzly. Kill a crocodile. Make a, make a purse or make shoes. But don't kill the lamb every year. So not only do we kill them, but in fact, uh, on top of that, we are very cruel. We empalate them. So already killing them is cruel. But we empalate them, which is very <laughs> completely pornographic. This is the Greek genius. Kill it, eat it. Oh, here, Malaga. I'm going to make words. I'm going to empalate it like this. No social distancing. And we empalate the lamb. So this obviously created the diaspora. It was an exodus, yes. This created a movement. You know, like you have the Me Too movement. You have the Black Lives Matters. We also have the Lamb Lives Matters. And they all went to New Zealand, of course. So in, they say that in New Zealand, you have one lamb for every five inhabitants, which makes a lot of millions of lambs. And most of these lambs are not from New Zealand. They are Greek. It's the Greek Lamb Diaspora, the GLD, of course. And they all went over there, and then they are protesting there, demonstrating, save the lamb, save the lamb, me too lamb, lamb uh, life matters. Every year in Pascha, in Easter, the Orthodox Pascha. And you have another movement like this as well, in the States, in the divided States of America. I don't know why, it really depends on which side of the fence you are born. But yeah, for example, in America, if you are a bald eagle, you're God. If you are a grizzly, you're God. But if you are a turkey, you're dead. Only one turkey survives. You know, the bird, not the turkey, the country, Erdogan, the bird. Only one turkey survives a year. Because the president comes. I know you, I'm going to save your life. I exonerate you. Very much like you save one turkey, but you kill the two million turkeys. So for Thanksgiving, and the Americans get together. Oh, the family, Thanksgiving, yes, we got together. Red genius. You know where the uh, Thanksgiving comes from? Because you betrayed the, the poor Native Americans. You fuck them like, like you normally do. And you celebrate it by killing a turkey. And this created the Turkey Exodus, the Turkey uh, Diaspora, the American Turkey Diaspora, ATD. And they all left America. And they went where? To Turkey. Turkey the country. So you have the tu Turkey the bird, Diaspora. <laughs> And they went to Turkey, the country. Why? Because they're genius. You know, birds, animals are very clever. They said, if we go to Turkey, they will call us Turkey and they will not eat us because for them it will be cannibalism. They are eating themselves. And since Erdogan is the new Mustafa Kemal, Kemal Ataturk, he thinks he's some type of sultan, I am sure they will exonerate all the little birds. And you have another movement like this in Spain. So everybody goes to Spain. Ah, we want to eat Hamon Serrano. We want to eat Hamon Serrano. You are going to kill the little pigs. You know, the little pigs, when they're small, they're very sweet. Because they're, you know, they're pink like this. You know, like Miss Piggy in Muppet Show. Uh, it's the family of Miss Piggy. All her cousins. In Spain, we kill them all. So the Greek, uh, the Greek uh, lamb called their cousins, the Spanish pigs. Repet, yeah, you have to leave. You have to go somewhere where they don't eat pig. Where did they go? <laughs> they went to the Middle East, an Islamic country, and Israel. Over there, full of pigs. Full of pigs because over there, you know, they don't eat pig. And this is the Spanish pig diaspora, SPD. They all went over there. Of course, we don't know whether some of them mutated anthropomorphologically and became polit politicians in Lebanon. Because the politicians in Lebanon must have some type of genetical heritage of the pigs. Look at what happened now with the explosion. And this is what happens. So this is to show you, Repedia, that it doesn't, demat uh, it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, what you've studied. It really depends on which side of the fence you were born and which height of the ladder. Rich, not rich, family, Africa, 
advanced culture, civilization. It's not your father, Peter. It depends on where you were born. And always remember, Wakanda forever, Dimitris, Greek genius.